Hi, uh, there could be a variety of reasons why you would want to set up a reverse proxy. One of the reasons, uh, the reason that I'm doing it is for uh, SEO uh, purposes. And uh, the it's fairly straightforward as far as the why in terms of, you know, within the context of SEO. For example, if you have, let's say, a blog, it is far better for SEO to have blog uh, or uh, sorry, the the so the two methods you can have your blog would be blog dot your website dot com or you can have your website dot com slash blog. Now, the second one is far superior for SEO because it's it, it 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 focuses all of your SEO juice onto one website because as far as Google is concerned, the um, subdomain is a, a separate website. Um, so, but however, that introduces another problem, which is the uh, integrity of your um, of your data. So, if let's say that you have a custom application uh, on your main website, or, uh, or or if it's just a static HTML page, and you don't want to introduce any kind of uh, uh, security you know risk. Um, uh, and I'm not saying WordPress will expose you to security risk, but uh, I have seen. More often than not, people's website get hacked because of a, a outdated a plugin, and I've seen that at least five times in my career. Um, and and it, it's it's not uh, um, so. Anyways, you you want to have your your website or your blog on a different uh, server, and it could be a VPS. So you know it's not uh, necessarily your expenses will go up that much. You could get like a cheap VPS for like you know less than twenty bucks a month. Um, you know, so if you want to uh, pretty much isolate your main website from the blog, then a reverse proxy will allow you to uh, do that and still achieve um, uh, the result of having it appear as if it's on the same website. So the what we have um, is a uh, a um, cPanel uh, uh, web server, and what you will want to do is you will want to first navigate to uh, etc uh, slash Apache 2 uh, and then uh, once you're in here um, you can open the httpd uh, conf file config file and you will want to navigate to this file because you can edit directly on here but w what will happen is your all your uh, your work is going to get wiped out on the next cPanel automatic update so I want you to be uh, extremely aware of that uh, so you know that doesn't happen to you um, so, uh, now onto the next step is how do you actually, uh, you know, um, pull off? Well, for, uh, it's already kind of set up on my part. So the only thing that I'm really doing right now is, um, uh, is, is, uh, uh I'm going to add another website to, uh, or set up a reverse proxy on a website where, where the server is already, already, you know, conf like uh, um, the uh, mod proxy is already set up. So these are are the uh, so uh, go, go, log into your your WHM and uh, go to software, go to Easy Apache, and then what you want to do is make a backup of your, of your profile in case anything was to go bad. And look, um, if you're not 100% confident on this, please hire a professional, uh, a uh, systems administrator uh, to do this for you. Um, because you, you could break your web server or, you know, and, and your, your web, well, you won't break the web server, but you can break the, the configurations on your web server software and your website, your website will go down and, uh, and it may be hard to restore it if you, uh, don't know, you hundred percent what you're doing. Um, that said, uh, if you are confident, follow these steps, uh, and, um, uh, and, 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 and uh, on the, uh, on the screen where it shows all the Apache modules, these are the modules that you want to have enabled. And after you enable that, uh, then then you know provision it, and it's going to restart the web server. Uh, and after that, that's when you know kind of what I just showed you right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here because uh, this is really where the the main files uh, are, uh, like uh, um, like the the um uh, this is where the configurations are stored for each of the websites that you have 
uh, and they're called um, virtual host. Uh, so in here, I'm gonna find the one that I'm looking for. And what you want to do is, is you know, find the domain that you're looking for, and then under virtual host, uh, copy uh, that part of it all the way down to let's see, virtual host over here, and uh, so this is the uh, the SS um, the uh, HTTPS version port four four three is uh, uh, SSL uh, or HTTPS um, and after that you want to also grab the one for uh, port 80 which is HTTP I'm gonna just so I so all I'm doing right now is I'm just copying this like in here as is and I'm going to then find the uh, the other location Okay, so here's the port 80 one. So I'm just gonna copy um, all the way down. Let's see. Okay, cool. Cool. So so this is pretty much what 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 we uh, uh what I need. Um, so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna scroll all the way up here. Uh, and right now we're in the httpd.conf file. I'm gonna move all, all the way up, and we're gonna na now navigate to this file. And imagine this to be like a if, if you're familiar with like program, imagine this to be like a hook, right? Um. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to uh, uh this. um, we're going to go to go up one folder. And we're gonna go to here, and we're going to uh, now navigate to let's see, um, includes, and it would be it would be this file. Cool. So paste that you know paste that whole block in there. So now any changes that will uh, will make. It will be applied here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, is um, uh, now with the with the reverse proxy, this just you know uh, what what you want to do is um, is uh, uh, navigate to uh, after this line after the serve name you know paste or uh, well for you it will be definitely be different right, but uh, this will be the IP or the host name of the website of the endpoint of the reverse proxy. So what I'm pretty much setting up here is mediadatabase.com slash directory will go to this uh, uh, this folder will point to this server. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. And I'm going to also do the same thing with uh, on here. Um, now if I save this, well actually before that if I go to mediadatabase.com slash directory nothing right? Uh, now if I save this, and now if I uh, uh, restart this, uh, um, so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to restart the server. So, so far, I'm just going to hit restart and see what happens. Cool. And, and of course, now we got to, uh, 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 you know, I need to have my uh, uh, um, uh, development team uh, configure this so that way it's, it's routed correctly. 
on, on and but that's more of on the PHP side with the uh, you know, within the application. Um, so hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, and um, uh, and, and uh, I'm well aware that this is a very uh, narrow specific area within send a, a reverse uh, a proxy but hopefully uh, this could get you through at least you know one step uh, you know further in in uh, achieving what your goals and what you're trying to get uh, set up and and if you haven't if you found it more confusing than it, it's then it's worth uh, then I, I, I sincerely do apologize and um, uh, but what I would do is is uh, uh, follow the steps that I kind of outlined uh, uh, here um, you know with uh, and hopefully this this will help you uh, actually I, I will post uh, 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 this in the bottom of this YouTube video so that way you know, hopefully it does yeah I, I mean my, my goal is to help you help you guys and um, uh, as with all the stuff in this channel I, I include the best stuff here there's nothing that I'm you know, uh, selling to you guys. So hopefully you found it helpful. And if you do, uh, please, uh, you know, like and subscribe.